This morning, I'm gonna be making a breakfast stir fry using our dark turkey meat. Yes, this is turkey meat. This is from the uh, leg and thigh of a heritage turkey. And I'm also gonna be um, adding spinach because that's what I happen to have, but you can add anything you want, any kind of vegetables that you want. To give this a little bit of a porky flavor, I'm going to add, I'm gonna be cooking it in our home rendered lard that comes from our American guinea hogs. Lard is actually not bad for you if it comes from pasture raised hogs because it's actually high in monounsaturates, which is what makes olive oil so great. It's over 50% monounsaturated. But do not buy the stuff in the store because that stuff has been hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated which is why it stays solid at room temperature. And it's why we keep this in the fridge because if it's at room temperature, it gets really, really soft and um, doesn't last quite as long. So we're gonna melt. So I've got about, probably about two tablespoons of lard that I'm gonna cook this in. I'm gonna melt that. And then when we butcher our own meat, we put it in these uh, freezer bags because we can very easily thaw them. Like you just put this in water for like 20 minutes and it's thawed. So um, I really, really love freezing meat like this. To make this taste like a traditional breakfast sausage, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sage, which sounds crazy, but believe me, it's not too much. Um, so this is actually a teaspoon, so I'm just like making it super heaping so that it's going to be close to a tablespoon. And then I like it spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper to it, as well as some black pepper. Now I'm gonna add a pound of frozen spinach because unfortunately right now we don't have any spinach. We have been having an unprecedented amount of rain and the spinach is not growing at all. So we don't have any. Um, I think we even put it in raised beds, but unfortunately it's not growing. So I think the, um, I think it's still, they're just getting, the seeds are getting drowned. Um, so. We've got some mustard greens working, but not much else. Mustard greens and onions. And that's it. If you've got, you could also add, um, one of the other things I like to add a lot is like cubed butternut squash, or you could add kale or um, carrots, onions, mushrooms, whatever veggies you happen to have around. It's super simple. Um, this will be done in a, about another five or 10 minutes and we'll be serving it up. And I'm also, just before serving, I'm going to add some crushed garlic to this too. Bye! If you have any questions, just post in the comment section below and I'll get back to you.